There are different methods of data representation. Two of them are pictograph and bar graph. Today, we will learn how to read a pictograph and a bar graph through some examples. Pictograph Look at the flower farm. Simi collected five flowers. Sanya collected seven flowers. And Suzanne collected four flowers from the farm. When we write the number of different objects in a given group, we call it data. The data given in the flower farm example can be represented as follows. This data can also be represented by drawing pictures. It is called a pictograph. We should be able to collect information from a pictograph by reading it. Every pictograph has 1. A title which tells us what the pictograph is about. 2. Pictures which tell us the given number of objects. 3. Labels which tell us what kind of data is shown. 4. The key which tells us the number each picture is equal to. Now, let's see how we can read this pictograph of the flower farm example. The title, Flowers Collected, tells us the pictograph is about the number of flowers collected. The labels give us the information of who collected the flowers. The key tells us that each flower picture is equal to one flower. Hence, from the pictograph, we can say Simi collected five flowers, Sanya collected seven flowers, and Suzanne collected four flowers. Joy visited a farm which was full of red, yellow, and green capsicums. Now, Let's read this pictograph. Here, the title, Capsicums in the Farm, tells us the pictograph is about the number of capsicums in the farm. The labels give us the information on the colors of the capsicums. The key or scale tells us that each capsicum picture is equal to two capsicums. So... Let's count the number of capsicums in the farm. There are seven red capsicums. That means seven multiplied by two is equal to 14 red capsicums. Accordingly, we can find out the yellow and green capsicums. There are 12 yellow and 10 green capsicums on the farm. Hence, from the pictograph, we can say there are 14 red capsicums, 12 yellow capsicums and 10 green capsicums on the farm. From the information so obtained from the pictograph, we can say how many capsicums are there in all. Whether red capsicums are more or yellow, and so on. Hence, we can obtain a lot of information from a pictograph. Bar graph. Now, let's look again at the data chart of the flowers collected. We have already represented this data using a pictograph. Now, another way of representing this data is through a bar graph. Every bar graph has 1. A title, which tells us what the bar graph is about. 2. Both the side and the bottom of the graph have a label, which tell us what kind of data is shown. 3. The scale tells us the number each block is equal to. Now, let's see how we can read this bar graph of the flower farm example. The title, Flowers Collected, tells us 
the bar graph is about the number of flowers collected. The labels give us the information that the data is about who collected the flowers and how many. The scale tells us how many flowers were collected. Hence, from the bar graph, we can say Simi collected five flowers, Sanya collected seven flowers, and Suzanne collected four flowers. Max, the mouse, ate some fruits. Let's read this bar graph. Here the title, Fruits Eaten by Max, tells us the bar graph is about the number of fruits eaten by Max, the mouse. The labels tell us that the data is about the kind and number of fruits eaten. The scale tells us the number of fruits eaten. Hence, from the bar graph we can say, Max ate two mangoes, four cherries, five apples, and three oranges. From the information so obtained, we can say how many fruits Max ate in all, how many more apples he ate than mangoes, and so on. Hence, we can obtain a lot of information from a bar graph too. Hope it was fun to learn the different methods of data representation.